St. Luke chapter 17, verse 26, and it reads, And as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. Likewise, also, as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakodash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishop of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here for a bit, it's always a warning before the storm. It's always a warning before the storm. Always. It's always a warning before the storm. The servants of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus, on the highways and byways, making sit down lessons each and every day, man. Give you warning from the God of the Bible. Just like Noah did. Just like Lot did. But see, the thing about it, people have to actually see something to believe it. So they got to actually see Gurga troops coming down the street, kicking down their front door. And then they're going to say, damn, those men on the street corners was telling me this was going to happen. But my stupid ass didn't listen. See, th that needs to happen. See, when words don't teach, adversity will, right? So Noah, he was given the strict warning. Lot, he was given, Lord Yahweh Shai, first and foremost, who they really call Jesus. All the men of the Lord sent for a warning. Matter of fact, let's just get what Noah did, right? I'm going to come right back. I'm going to come right back, Lord's willing. Let's get Hebrews. Let's get Hebrews right quick. Because listen, it's always a warning before the storm. And then the thing about it, the just shall live by faith. We ain't got to see all these things to believe in it. That's the gift that has been given to us. That's the gift that has been given to us from the Heavenly Father, man. The gift of faith to believe in something that you don't see. The Lord put the Spirit on us to take heed to the warning. Before anything happens, Hebrews chapter 11. It's a, a quick little lesson, Hebrews chapter 11. Verse 7, and it reads, by faith Noah. See, Noah had faith. Noah was given the gift of faith to believe in something that he had never seen. Noah didn't never see rain. It was the dew watered the crops back in those times, man. All right. It hadn't rained one time. Noah was given the warning and he believed what it said again. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 7 by faith. Noah being warned of the most high of things not seen as yet, meaning that rain. Move with fear. So the men of the Lord, we do these videos each and every day. Why? Because the Lord put his spirit on us to move with fear, just like Noah. Just like Lot, move with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house. And now a spiritual ark is being built. Because look, you, you didn't believe thousands of years ago when a physical ark was being built. How much more when a spiritual ark is being built? You most definitely ain't going to believe. It, it's most definitely going to have to take the gift of faith to believe in this here. You see, prepared an ark to the saving of his house. By the which he could dim the world. So Noah was a preacher, man. He was a prophet. He was prophesying, right? Condemning the world. And became heir of righteousness, which is by faith. So while everybody else is playing around, playing games, lollygagging, and all this other nonsense, the warning is going forth. And everything that we read according to the Bible is happening real time. It ain't stopped. Ain't nothing stop. So let's go right back. St. Luke, and then, then going right back to Ezekiel, the second chapter, you, then you're going to know when all these things come upon your head, you know what I'm saying, and start beating down your block, then you're going to know that a prophet had been among you. But guess what? It's going to be too late for the majority of you ninja lights. 
aka you Hebrew Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, all right? A, a storm is coming. A storm is coming, right? Sing Luke chapter 17, verse 26. And it reads, and as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it also be in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, right? They did eat. See, the importance of being sincere, you see? Apostle Gabar, you know what I'm saying? Just put a video up. The importance of being sincere, being honest, man, all right? They did eat, they drank, they married. This, this is what everybody on the earth is doing. Are, are they not doing this? These are all tall tales times. These are all tell, tall tale signs that the Lord is coming, man. He on his way, man. They, they just eat. Look how big these damn people. The only thing they do is eat. All you can eat buffets every damn well. You see? No, no obedience. You see? You just live just a careless life. Everyone's just living a careless life, right? Look, look, they were giving in. Look, look, they did eat, they drank. What, what is it? You number a bunch of drunks walking around. That's all you see. A bunch of damn drunks walking around doing stupid TikTok videos, doing TikTok challenges, uh, selfies, walking around recording themselves all day, talking about nothing. I mean, absolutely nothing. You see? Eating, drinking, having fun. When the scriptures say the heart of fools, matter of fact, let's just get that. Let's just get that right quick. I'm going to come back, Lord's willing. Let's just get that Ecclesiastes. And the, and the phone chimed in. Ecclesiastes. What is Ecclesiastes 7 chapter? Ecclesiastes chapter 7. Verse um, 4. We're going to click on it. Four, because remember it says they eating, they drinking, they just having a whole lot of damn fun. So listen to this. Ecclesiastes, if this scripture fits you, then you need to change it real quick. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 4. The heart of the wise in the house of mourning. But the heart meaning the mind of fools is in the house of murder. So even back in Noah times, it won't nothing but a bunch of fools walking around. Looking all crazy, bug the hell out. You see, these are the same people that's back on the earth right about now. The same people that was back in Noah's time, they're back now. Reincarnation, you ain't got to believe. Reincarnation meaning back in the flesh, man. All right? Re meaning back in carnation. Flesh, man. Back in the flesh doing the same thing. Partying, having fun, murphing up. And that, that's all they know. And that's all they want to know, man. What it say? But the heart of fools is in the house of mirth, and the living will lead to his heart. Once the Lord put his spirit back on you to come back to this knowledge, you're going to say, hold, hold on, man. Hold on. I'm, I'm most definitely ain't, ain't living right. I need to do what the scriptures say. But let's go back, though. St. Luke chapter 17. We're going to go right on back. We're going to do, we're going to, Lord, we're going to come full circle. Verse 27. They did eat. They drank. They marriage, just sex, 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 sex. You see, nobody ain't nobody ain't having sex to uh, to reprocreate. You see, they just sex, 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 sex. Women having sex with I'm saying with over a thousand men. And look, 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 and, and getting promoted for it, getting accolades, getting rewards. Whores are being rewarded in Babylon. You see, drunks are being rewarded. Ag drug uh, drug addicts. You see, are being rewarded here in Babylon. They was getting rewarded back then. But then the ultimate reward came, and that was judgment. All right? The ultimate reward for all this nonsense going on is judgment. Get it. Give it to them, Lord. Give it to them, Lord. They want it. Give it to them. Until the day that Noah entered into the ark. They was doing all this nonsense until Noah entered into the ark. Running their damn mouth. Talking all kind of ish. You see, same thing that's going on now, man, but it's more of it now. It's more of it now. Only eight people back in Noah's days got delivered. Eight, man. Out of billions of people, only eight got delivered. That was the elect of that time. You see? And only the elect of this time is going to get delivered, man. You see? Until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all and destroyed them all and destroyed them all. But oh yeah, the Lord is all love, love, right? Likewise, also as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, 
they drink the same damn thing, the same reoccurring thing. Every generation, every time period, the same foolish nonsense. And you think the Lord is happy with all this madness going on? Likewise, also, as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank. And then at the same time, Lot was given the warning. Lot warned his family members. You see, warned his wife, his rebellious ass wife. He, he warned his nephews, and, and, and we extrapolate, of course. And you know he warned the rest of his family members that was there. And some of his friends. Did anybody take heed? Nobody didn't take heed. You see? Only Noah and his daughters, I mean, only Lot and his daughters get made it out of there, man. You see? And that was the elect of that time, man. You see? Likewise, also as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sowed, they planted, they built it. Look, no one, it didn't say nothing about no one took heed to the word. Have they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went out, man. You see? It's always a warning before destruction, right? It's just, but the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Boom, 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 boom. Even thus shall the day, even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed, man. And, and when Lord Yahweh shake up, it's going to be the same thing. They're going to be eating. They're going to be drinking. They're going to be partying. They're going to be running their damn mouth talking about nothing. A bunch of foolishness and, that, and them missiles going to hit this place. And simultaneously, Lord Yahweh shake going to shoot them laser beams out of that chariot, man, and burn all you wicked people up, man. All right? And burn all you wicked people up. Because once again, it's always a warning before the storm, man. Always, man. Let's get this. This is a quick little lesson through the spirit, man. All right? This is Malachi chapter 4, verse 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn them up. So like it. For the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. And all the proud, yea, and all the do wickedly shall be stubble. Are you hearing that? Uh, uh, did you, was that clear enough? You see, and all they do wickedly shall be stubble, man. So it's a whole lot of people that's going to burn, man. A whole lot of people. The majority of people on the face of the earth is wicked as hell, man. Bar none. Bar none. It says, it says and the day that cometh shall burn them up. By way of what? The ICBM missiles. But before all that happens, you have all kind of judgment. More ambulances, more fire trucks, more police cars, more sirens, man. Come on, man. More looting, more look, it's getting ready to go down. You got once again, you got the, people keep forgetting, man. We 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 do we do watchmen for a reason. You got 3.8 million people facing facing eviction the beginning of this month. Well, hell, it's the first of day. This month and leading up to next month. 3.8 million people ain't pay their damn rent here in Babylon. You see? 3.8 million people ain't paid their rent in a long ass time. But oh yeah, so you, you really think people gonna let you just live in that shit for, for the longest without paying rent? You this this is Babylon. This is the land of confusion. Where well, you think you can just live somewhere for three, four years without paying rent and still run your damn mouth? Look, destroy them all, Lord. Destroy them all, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch, man. All right. And the men of the Lord been prophesying, man. All right. I want to get I want to get uh, two more scriptures and then I'm gonna wrap it up. Jeremiah. Jeremiah 28. 8, this, this is what we do. This is what we do. Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8. And it reads. The prophets that have been before me and before the old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Noah was doing the same thing. Lot was doing the same thing. Jeremiah was doing the same thing. Lord Yahweh Shai, who they're going to call Jesus, were doing the same thing. 
And guess what? It's 2022. We doing the same thing. All right. So it's so meaning what? It ain't nothing new up under the sun. All right. The spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets, man. And you can get um Revelation 19 and 10 on that, man. You see? Let's get this last scripture and I'm gonna wrap it up. Ezekiel. You you're all hell breaking loose and you still ain't taking heed. You Israelites like still ain't taking heed. But guess what? Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 5. And I, I want to blow it up. I want to blow it up. Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 5, and they, whether they were here or look, look, and they, whether they were here or whether they were forbear, regardless if they take heed to the word or not, still give them warning like Noah did, still give them warning like Lot did. For they are a rebellious house, yet shall know that there have been a prophet among them. You got to wait to actually get thrown in a concentration camp and then say, they did say something about some concentration camps. You got to be getting dragged out of the damn street by your damn fake ass weave. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. They did say martial law was going to pop off. Then they shall know that a prophet had been among them. Shalom.